Good morning. It's Judith Ann Desjardins and Hopi in Santa Monica today. And I want to share some good news. I I went to see my lady gastroenterologist today, who I first saw uh, nine months ago, and she is the one who paid attention to my initial symptoms of uh, pancreatic cancer and ordered the first uh, CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis and then this is Santa Monica and we always have some noise around but we, we proceed anyway. So she ordered the initial CT scan which pointed to the probability of pancreatic cancer and then she ordered the endoscopy with ultrasound that definitively um, diagnosed that I had a probable adenocarcinoma of the pancreas. So I wanted to visit her today, which is like a 360 uh, degree circle from nine months ago. And now that I have finished chemotherapy, I'm actually off chemotherapy for almost two months now. And so I wanted to go and see her because on the um, surgical pathology report, it had mentioned that I had chronic pancreatitis. And I was concerned with what was going on now with the 60% of pancreas that is left. As usual, this doctor is has an eagle eye for diagnosing and putting together tests and analysis. And she said, let me, let me pull up the scan of your um, endoscopy with ultrasound, she said, because that doctor got the closest look at the functioning of your entire pancreas. So I waited while she accessed the computer and she said, um, according to this report, the only part of your pancreas that had pancreatitis and atrophy was the part that was surgically removed. And that part of the pancreas had developed digestive problems and had shrunk in size because the tumor was blocking the pancreatic duct. So she said, in terms of your remaining 60% uh, pancreas, you have absolutely no symptoms of pancreatitis, which would be things like trouble digesting, diarrhea, etc. You've maintained a solid uh, weight for the last six months, which is very good, no weight loss. So she said, I would say that your pancreatic, pancreas that is remaining is very healthy, and whatever you're doing, you look fantastic to my eyes. She uh, listened for sounds in my stomach, said everything sounded fine, and she said, my only advice is that we do a follow-up CT scan of your abdomen and pelvis in three months. That will be the same time you're getting one for pulmonary of your chest and that we continue uh, short-term surveillance like every three months probably for the first year just to make sure you're in the clear and there's no recurrence. So I blessed her for saving my life. It was wonderful to see her. Um, she's a delightful young woman, very, very sharp, very personal. Sat down, we talked for 
we probably had a 45 minute chat of everything I've been through and laughed and shared together and it was absolutely wonderful. So I recommend to all patients that are being treated for cancer, once again, I'm urging you to take responsibility for the whole picture of your health care. As I told her, each of the specialists, like surgeon, uh, oncologist, have somewhat of a narrow focus on their specialty and they are not dealing with the whole person. So I came back to her, I initiated that visit because I wanted to know what I could do for my pancreas now that I've had surgery and um, chemotherapy. I want to be on top of my health care. I want to be dealing with body, mind, emotion, and spirit in my recovery. And I recommend that if you want the best outcome for your diagnosis, no matter what stage you are, no matter which type of cancer you have, you must be the captain of the team. And look to see, make uh, referrals to all the specialists, whether it's nutritionist, if you need uh, psychotherapy to support the emotional part of the cancer journey, by all means do that. Consult an exercise specialist if you need to, to come up with a program that works for your body. My muscles are returning to my body. They can be rebuilt. And that's, that's great to know whatever age you are. So I send you God's blessings, my encouragement that you take total responsibility for the management of your body, mind, emotion, and spirit. I send you healing and hope and resilience and transformation. Blessed are you. Thank you. Thank you.